delicious turkey in under an hour and a half. Let me show you what to do. For our turkey brine today, we're gonna be using Malcolm's bird brine. We're gonna use half a gallon of water and half a cup of the bird brine. You wanna make sure to use cold water and get everything mixed up. To hold our turkey today, we're gonna to be using Malcolm's meat bags. Once everything is mixed up, just pour the brine right into the bag. Now I'm gonna get as much air out of this bag as possible, tie everything up, and this should be good to go. We're gonna put this into the refrigerator for 12 hours. Today we're cooking our rotisserie turkey on our Weber kettle. So what I'm gonna do is I have a pan here that's gonna kind of separate those coals. Now I have my Weber Smoky Mountain running right now. We're gonna cook dinner in just a little bit, but what I'm doing is I'm building a bed of coals down here. So if I need more coals in a little bit on my rotisserie, I can use my shovel, grab them out of here and put them over there just so I can retain that heat and make sure we get a nice rotisserie turkey. So like I just talked about a second ago, that's not very many coals, but it's gonna be good for a start for us. I know for a fact that I'm gonna have to add some coals here in just a little bit. And after a 12 hour brine, we're ready to take this out, get it wrapped up, we're just about ready to cook. The biggest thing that I'm looking to do here is get the moisture off the outside of this bird. If some of these seasonings stay on there, it's not really a huge deal to me, but I do wanna make sure to get a little bit off just to make sure everything else sticks nicely. The next thing we're gonna do with this turkey is get our rod through it. The reason that I'm not seasoning first is because I actually find that it makes it really easy to season on the pit when you get this attached. We'll come through the other side and we'll just try and get this right in the middle. We're gonna tighten everything up. And this is exactly what it should look like when you're done. Now we're gonna work on getting our rotisserie attached to the motor. Just get it in there nice. And this counterweight right here is what you wanna make sure you get right. So I'm just gonna screw it in for the time being. We'll turn on the motor and we wanna make sure that this thing rotates pretty good. So this counterweight right here, once it gets to the top, is gonna help swing the weight and just make sure that this bad boy is continuously moving just so we don't get any burn spots. Today we're using a citrus pepper blend that we've shown you guys on the website before. So if you're interested in it, we'll link it in the description. Just for everybody wondering at home, this was a 13 pound bird. We have no idea how long this is gonna take, but it's 3.16 in the afternoon, and of course, we'll show you guys when it's finished. It's been about an hour on this turkey. We haven't checked it at all, so we're gonna look at it together for the first time. Oh, my Lanta, that looks absolutely incredible. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was a little bit worried about this just because we've never done this before, but the color on this bird is just out of this world right now. I'm gonna try and get a quick temp in the leg. It's around 158, so I'm assuming over here it's gonna be much further behind, around 130. Yeah, this thing needs to keep going. And so far, I'm really happy with the way that the cook is going. I see one spot right here that might have gotten a little bit burnt, but that's completely okay with me. The majority of the bird is looking outrageous. So. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get a few coals and we're gonna dump them right in. We don't need to add too much, but I did wanna add just a few because I noticed that the temps were dropping a little bit below 300 and I wanna make sure they're around that 325 to 350 range. And just because there's only one vent on top of the Weber kettle lid, I've been rotating every 15 or so minutes just to make sure we get a nice even cook on our bird. We're still maintaining right around 350 degrees. It's been an hour and 20 minutes on our turkey and we wanna check it one more time because I have a feeling that this is almost done. So I stopped my rotisserie for just a second and I'm gonna probe in the thickest part of the breast here. And you can see we're around 150 degrees. So what I wanna do is I wanna get this to 160 before I stop cooking. So now that we have a few minutes before this is done, I'm gonna start basing this with a little bit of lemon, with a little bit of butter, and the seasonings that we put on top of this bird. There's actually a recipe for this on our website and on TikTok, so I'll link both of those in the description below. Be careful with the butter, you might cause some flare-ups, but you wanna be quick with this. It's 
it's been about five minutes since we last checked this. Let's keep basing and see what the temps are at. Now we're obviously going for a lemon pepper type turkey. If you guys don't want to do that, try any barbecue seasoning. Just use the rotisserie. It's going to be really fast. Our temp is sitting right at 160 degrees, right into that breast. And I wanted to show you guys that we're exactly at 4.45 p.m., so this took around an hour and a half. After about a 15 minute rest, it's time to start carving up our turkey. I have an electric knife because I've been using it a lot in competition and I'm pretty comfortable with it by now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this leg off first. I'm gonna go ahead and spin it around, get this other leg. Now I'm gonna work on the breast, so I'm gonna go down at a little bit of an angle. Kind of follow that breastbone. And if you guys take a look at this breast, you can see it's cooked all the way through and there's plenty of moisture. That bird brine definitely helps retain the moisture and add flavor into the breast. Same exact thing to the other side. Now we're gonna work on the thigh. Basically what I like to do, I know it's kind of hard for you to see, but I like to pull and see where the joint naturally comes apart and then just chop right down that. It makes it really easy to see where you need to cut. We got everything on the platter, but we wanted to slice this turkey breast up for you. In my opinion, if you didn't nail the turkey breast, you didn't nail the turkey. and now it's time to take a bite. Instantly I get that lemon flavor that we put on the outside with that base. We use that citrus pepper which brings a ton of flavor as well. Lemon pepper chicken is typically the wife and I's favorite way to eat it so we decided to throw it into a turkey. One and a half hour turkey, how can you complain about that? Get out and get yourself a rotisserie if you have a Weber kettle. This is a very easy attachment to use. You guys saw that we didn't have to do much work at all whatsoever. As always, we really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Penny, Piper, Alonso, don't ever forget, mom and dad will always love you. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.